live reporting from 100 G's Armory and uh, Nerf Life Club of Charleston or Charleston Nerf Life Club, excuse me. It's again 100 G's, and here I am. Have you looking down this uh, gaping black hole? This is what uh, I'm calling my Nerf clearing barrel. Basically, it's a long box that has a uh, laundry bag inside and I shoot inside here and then you know I could take whatever I shot out of here just dump it into my uh, dart bucket and then you know I'm good to go from there so today I would like to talk about my um, Nerf hot rod well, I've been calling it that but I'm thinking I'm going to change its name to uh, the Inferno but it has uh, some extra stuff I'm keep upgrading and testing this just because it's not exactly where I want it to be but it's very close I have uh, two Hellcat motors as uh, flywheels, and I have a Rhino as a pusher. And then I also have the Morpheus cage and um, worker flywheels, which I procured from uh, Liberty Foam Designs. Um, I think it's also known as Foam Freaks on Etsy now, too. But um, very nice gentleman, Evan Williams, you know, he helped me uh, get the parts that I need on this build and multiple other builds. And I definitely would um, recommend him for all your Nerf aftermarket needs. Um, but yeah, so I don't know if this combination of motors is a good one or not. I did a commission for a gentleman, and that's what uh, sparked my interest in it uh, a while back. But um, it's like, it just like fries darts every now and then. And every now and then works good. Like this one will occasionally have a puff of smoke. And what I'm seeing that the issue might be is that I only have a two switch set up here. And whenever that pusher doesn't go all the way back, it kind of has a dart halfway into those flywheels and the worker flywheels along with those motor motors, just like melt the dart. And then there's a cloud of smoke that comes out and then I have to take the magazine out. That dart drops out and I put the magazine in there and it fires again pretty well. So, um, I thought at first I thought it was a motor smoking, so I got worried, but it's really just a dark smoking, so I'm not terribly worried. But I think you know maybe the next setup I do, or maybe I might change this one, is that I will put a, um, a stock pusher or something just with a lower rate of fire, so that you know I can you know kind of control it more as far as what's going in. Or I may attempt to try to do the three switch setup, of which you know it always breaks the pusher motor so that it will um, always go all the way back before it comes out so i think maybe that might be the best course of action i just have to find the switch that will fit in that type of uh, setup and how to wire it but anyway i'll give you a go ahead and give you a fire demonstration of my nerf inferno um working on my airbrush skills i'm doing like a realistic fire type thing so i think it came out pretty well um I was so excited I started playing with it right after I did it so I have these minor um, nicks and you know paint that's kind of like chipped off a little bit but this is going to be a war, bast uh, war blaster this is not going to be a showpiece so it's going to have some um, nicks and dings and blemishes because it's going to catch a lot of bodies this is my hitter but anyway I'll go ahead and um, give you a firing demo. All right, now this is just uh, 10 darts inside of 18 round uh, stick mag, just to see, you know, if I can get through the whole thing without setting a dart on fire. Now see, that fired perfect. Now these are brand new um, Raytheon waffle tip darts. So brand new darts fire pretty well, but when I use um, older darts, that's when I had the little smoking gun kind of thing, which is kind of cool. I mean, you know, if I burn out the motors, I replace the motors. I have some more. This is my personal thing, so I'm testing. So um, I'll go ahead and load up some older darts and see if I get the same performance. Okay, as you can see here, I loaded up a very different array of darts. Um, I have some uh, AccuFake, some uh, Dart Zone Adventure Force kind, some uh, Raytheon Waffle Tips, some more AccuFake, actual uh, Koosh Tip that I got from Raytheon, more uh, Waffle. A regular uh, elite dart, another uh, dart zone, um, some more, I think that's a waffle tip, waffle tips, um, streamline, uh, accufake, and a zombie strike. So I'm going to try these out and see if I can get through all of these without having any issues. 
issues, but definitely the cage and the motor setup definitely likes definitely likes the newer darts. If it's new darts, it fires flawlessly. So let's cut to um, a scene of it firing this. Well, I fired that one flawlessly too, so I guess it's not going to act up for me on the camera. But anyway, as I said, this is my Nerf Inferno. As soon as we have another war, I would definitely war with it and give you some um, game footage. Also, um, the reason why I had to switch to the Morpheus Cage and work with flywheels, I forgot to mention, was because this motor setup basically melted the inside of the regular um, flywheels. I think I have those flywheels somewhere around here. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I do. So, it like melted the inside shaft of this one right here. And so, I tried to work with it still because I didn't have any flywheels at the time. So, I put super glue on the shaft, pressed it down, then I put a dab of hot glue on the top. And that held it a little longer, but lo and behold, after a while, with all that heat and torque, it uh, opened that hole back up again. So, um, with the Wolverines and, um, you know, Rhino Pusher, stock flywheels are just not going to cut it. They're just not. But, uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, next time I do a build, I'll definitely go ahead and put it up here. You know, um, there's 100 Gs, and I am out.